What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and in today's video I'm super excited because we're doing another pack opening. Not just any packs, some vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! GX packs. Now these ones are thanks to Dr. Chickens if you guys want to check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link at the top of the description below. Amazing guy, he sent these over which is super exciting. So in today's video, we're searching for some ultimate rares. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I've been loving doing pack openings, super fun to do, and uh, I don't wanna keep you guys waiting for too much longer. I also wanna get into the packs, so uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's a ton of packs over here. Just to quickly just go through what we have. We have, I can't remember the numbers, but we have a bunch of Cybernetic Revolution. And then we got one, I guess, Cyber Dark. Oh no, two, okay, that's what I thought. We had two Cyber Dark Impact over here. We got the one Lost Millennium, one Elemental Energy, one Strike of Neos, and I think three, yeah, three Enemy of Justice over here. So we have a ton of packs, ton of chances to pull some ultimate rares. We also have these two Duelist Pack Zanes. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be opening up these two Duelist Pack Zanes just because I think it's one of my favorite like artworks on this set. So I'm gonna keep these sealed for myself. So we're not gonna open these ones up in today's video. I just wanted to show you guys what we got. Again, thanks to Dr. Chickens. He's the one that hooked us all up. A ton of packs, a ton of like options to pull a bunch of like cool cards. So uh, let's see if we get lucky and pull something good. We'll start off with the Cybernetic Revolution. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can we pull that ultimate rare? Oh yeah, I forgot these are Korean packs. I gotta get scissors. So can we pull that ultimate rare Cyber Dragon? That's the goal, but Cybernetic Revolution has some amazing cards. We obviously have the Cyber End Dragon as an ultimate rare. We also have Winged Karibo in here. Um, I can't remember exactly what else, but really, really good cards. And it's a really, really good set overall, to be honest. Okay, so we first have uh, Gyroid, right? Right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, Jerry Beans Man. Okay, Jerry Beans Man. I'm gonna try, I promise, I'm gonna try to remember the names of these cards this time, because I was really bad in the last few Korean openings. Uh, this is something Kiran. It's not Princess Kiran. It's uh, something Kiran, right? We got Dragon's Mirror. This one I remember. And we got a rare. This one I don't remember. Spiritual something. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These are all unweighed, by the way. I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, Dr. Chickens just sent us a bunch of random packs uh, that he had laying around. So none of them are like from a box or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so it could be anything. Also, ultimate rares are not weighable. So it's not like you can weigh an ultimate rare out of here. Uh, we're just gonna go random packs at a time. Interesting. Oh, Enemy of Justice has a 5Ds thing? This is my first time opening Korean uh, Enemy of Justice. Who's this? Is this like one of those like missing boy thingies? That'd be funny. No, they can't be. There's no way. There's no way. But I feel like Enemy of Justice was kind of late for a random 5Ds uh, advertisement there. Er it was early for a 5Ds. Uh, this is a, De a Destiny Hero. We got a BES, Bountiful Artemis. Uh, a D signal and a uh, Aura? Aria? I think it's Aria. Anyways, yeah, this was really random. I don't even know how to explain this. This is kind of taking me by surprise, to be honest with you. Let's get into another Cybernetic Revolution. This is the one that we have the most of. So, uh, hopefully we can pull something good from here. Even Ultra Rares would be nice, I won't even lie. Okay, so we got uh, Patroid. No, it's not Police Roid. There's no way it's Police Roid, that's too obvious, right? I swear it's Patroid. Oh, it's a helicopter Patroid. I can't remember. I know the names, I just don't remember what's, which one's which. Something Lobster. We got Battery Man C. That one's a little bit easier. Uh, Fusion Recovery. And we got a... Ooh, this is an FTK card. Um, Magical Explosion. I think that's what it was. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to one of the Cyber Dark Game Packs. You know what? Let's move on to this. Ooh. I know the Korean openings in the past have been kind of long because we're doing booster boxes. This time we're not doing a full booster box, so it should be a little bit easier. Oh my god, what are these five these things? Oh, and it's the same little boy. The same little boy. Um, I didn't know they came with this. I've never opened Korean packs outside of Elemental Energy and Striking Neos. Neither of them have this. So neither does um, Cybernetic Impact. They're not Cyber Dark Impact. Uh, this is Cyber Dark Impact. Neither does Cybernetic Revolution. We got uh, Something Queen. We got Ritual. We got, uh, uh, what's it called? Berry Statue. That's really cool. Can't remember what this one is. And a level down. Is it level down or level up? I think it's level down, right? I think it's level down, not level up. See how many Pahalos we can pull in general. We want, it, we want the ultimate rares, though. Of course, we're searching for ultimate rares. With these GX packs, you always want to search for ultimate rares. So we have a Drillroid. This one I know for sure. We got a Psychroid. This one I also know. I uh, can't remember this one. Pot of Generosity. And another rare. Can't remember this rare either. Oh, by the way, a nice cool thing about Korean packs, I should mention. Let's go into another one of these. A nice thing about Korean packs that if you guys didn't watch my last Korean pack openings uh, that I should mention, which is really nice, is in the TCG, or in North America pretty much, 
you could get rare ultimate rares. So cards that were rare were also ultimate rare. Whereas in the OCG, you couldn't. So all the ultimate rares in here would be like super rare or above essentially, which is really nice because you know you're not getting any of those random ultimate rares that we have here in the TCG, right? So we have another Curan card, Tyranno Infinity. I think it's Tyranno Infinity. Dragon's Mirror, Mechanical Hound, and... Ooh, okay, so there's our first super rare, our UFO Roy, nice. This also comes in ultimate rare. Card is beautiful, looks super clean and super rare. Nice, okay. Let's go into, you know, I'm gonna save this TLM pack for last just because it might have a flame wing man. So we'll go into a storm of Neos right now. We'll go into a storm of Neos. Oh, guys, guys, there's so much potential. Elemental energy also is a really good set. Like there's a lot of ultimate rares in that. The, there's a lot of like elemental hero cards in elemental energy specifically. So this could be a really big, big hit to be honest. Really big pack. Kizaru. I think that one's Kizaru. Shane's Castle, uh, Snake, we got a Trap, and a Tribes Migration Prophecy. Okay, so nothing in that one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go into another Cybernetic Revolution. I've been saying Cybernetic Revolution, but I, is, it, is it Cybernetic Revolution? Yeah, right? That's the name of the set. CRV. Yeah. Yeah. We got a uh, Wind Charmer Trap. We got Poison Frog. I think that's the name. Fusion Recovery. Don't remember this one and ooh skyscraper as a super rare okay this is also a really good ultimate rare you can get two super rares two G obviously gx cards this is what's really cool about these like sets is because all of these cards are so nostalgic so it's literally like whatever you pull super rare ultra rare ultimate rare good cards if you guys didn't watch in our i think um i think it was storm of neos or strike of neos did i say storm of neos earlier it's strike of neos not storm of neos but in strike of neos i think we pulled the skyscraper two ultimate rare in that box so if you guys want to check it out make sure to check it out but these are these are good these are good cards we got a steamroid another psychroid we got a poison frog death's croaking and a rare oh this is a dd card right like one of those uh different dimension cards i believe that's what it is all right so let's go into elemental energy now okay so let's get into this pack over here real quick oh cyber blader no not cyber blader cyber cyber something we got a hita bonding h2o Oxy get on. And a uh, and a and a brawn? Not brawn. And uh oh I hate these dark world names. And uh brow? No. Not brawn. Not brow. Oh I can't remember. But we got that as a rare. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Alright, let's get into another enemy of justice pack. We got the Shining Phoenix Enforcer and just the Phoenix Enforcer in here. Speaking of Shining Phoenix Enforcer, uh, of course if you guys do follow them. Oh, I thought this was something. For a second, I'm like, oh no, is this something? Okay, this was at the front of the pack last time. With the little boy over here. This was at the front of the pack. It's at the back of the pack this time, though. So we got a Battle from Artemis. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? I was saying that the new, if you guys follow the meta, there's the new Phoenix Destroyer, which is really, really good. We got the R. Icarus Attack. We got a rare. Oh, interesting. The rare wasn't even the last card in the pack this time. Was that an air pack? That was weird, no? All right, well, we got a rare. Nothing crazy in that. Let's go back into Cybernetic. So we've got two hollows. I think overall we had like 20 something packs, 20 something packs. So in a 40, in a 40 card box or a 40 pack box, you're usually guaranteed two ultimate rares, like four super rares and maybe an ultra rare. Yeah, I think you're guaranteed one ultra rare. Uh, we got 20 packs here. So I don't know how good the ratios are going to be, but we got our psychoid over here. We got another card that I don't know, Pot of Generosity, uh, Trap and don't remember this. I remember the actual, I remember the artwork of this card. Don't remember the name at all though. Okay, so we got a few packs left. We got, what is this? Four of these. We got three of these. All right, so we'll go into one more of these. We're going to end off with TLM because if we pull that ultimate rare, Flame Wing Man, the odds are really against us, but it's possible. And if we do, that'd be really, really big. Okay, so over here, we got an Earth Trap, Battery Man C, Death's Croaking. It's an Archfiend card. And Ooh, a Cyber Dragon Super Rare. Okay, it's not the ultimate rare, but we did pull the Cyber Dragon. Cannot complain. I was saying how I really wanted this card, and the centering on it looks insane. It looks amazing. Oh, no, the back centering looks a little bit off. It looks a little bit, like, thicker on this end than it does here. But the card is really, really nice. Ooh. Looks really, really good. I love these cards. Oh, my God. Three Super Rares, though. Three super rares. Can we pull an ultimate rare? Or even just an ultra rare? You know what? Just an ultra rare. I kind of want to pull the Cyber End Dragon ultimate rare. 
Because I feel like that's just... That would be really, really hype. I want to pull the Cyber Dragon, but the Cyber End Dragon would be just super boss. Now, okay, this is another Enemy of Justice pack. And by the way, the 5Ds thing was at the front. So that last one that we got that was at the back, that was kind of weird. So we got an, uh, one of those Alexis cards. We got an R Righteous Soul, a Dog, a Trap, and a Battery Man D. So nothing in this pack. All right, let's go into Cybernetic Revolution. Got three more packs. And then after this, we will get into... Oh, I'm excited for that Lost Millennium pack. We got a Mechanical Hound over here. Jerry Beans Man. Death Frog or Poison Frog, I can't remember. Uh, Dragon's Mirror and another one of those DD traps. Oh, guys, we're, we're coming down to the wire here. We're coming down to the wire here. I should say, though, technically, like, again, like I said, in a box, when you're guaranteed two ultimate rares and 40 packs and an ultra rare and like three or four super rares, um, getting three super rares in these 20 packs is actually pretty good ratios, pretty good odds, if you ask me. So we got a lobster over here. Uh, we got a Princess Kiran. It's not Princess, it's something Kiran, though. Uh, Spy? Shane something? Trap and a Mechanical Hound. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go into the Cyber Dark Impact. Ooh, Cyber Dark Impact also has, oh no, not in the OCG. I was gonna say it has Vanity Fiend Ultimate Rare, which would be a really good Ultimate Rare, but uh, Vanity Fiend's a rare. So in the OCG, it wouldn't be an Ultimate Rare, unfortunately. Here we have another 5Ds card. Okay, ooh, Flame Ogre. I think that's the name, right? Flame Ogre. Uh, Ritual. Oh, Circuit, circuit Break, what? We got a Fire Berry statue. Why is it like this? Why was that in the middle of the pack? Shouldn't there only be five cards per pack? Oh yeah, there is five cards. Oh, that was weird. Okay, last CRV pack. Oh, right here. All or nothing, right here, right now. Can we pull the ultimate rare? And ultimate rare. Ooh, we got a Steam, Steam Gyroid, right? Yeah, this is a fusion. Okay, cool. We got a Tadpole. We got a Death Croaking. We got a Princess Trap and Ultimate Rare right here. Nope. Oh, nothing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know what? We were building up all that hype because this last pack of the Lost Millennium is going to have, it will have the Ultimate Rare Flaming Man. I have to put that in out in like into the, into the world right now. I have to put it out into the world right now. Okay. Oh, no peeking. We got the Aria. We got a Trap. We got, is this Poison Wind? I think the color is called Poison Wind. Okay, we got Poison, whatever this is. We got Ancient Gear Soldier. Oh, okay, Flaming Man or Ancient Gear Golem. Right here, right now. Uh, Justin Avion. Okay, so we got kind of part of the Flaming Man, but that's it for today's opening. I think we opened up like 20-ish packs. Again, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too bad. We got three super rares. We did end up pulling that Cyber Dragon, which honestly is like probably the best pull. I would say the card looks beautiful. It's a really, really nice card, of course. Thank you guys all for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. No ultimate rare, unfortunately, but that's perfectly fine. I think we did pretty well. It's always fun opening these nostalgic vintage packs. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And with that, I mean, I got nothing left to say. Hopefully I can get some more Korean packs. Actually, I got some more, I think, on the way. And so I'm gonna try to open those up as well. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko, signing out. Peace.